Yuri Bezmenov was a KGB agent 52 years ago who defected to Canada and decided to warn the United States of the KGB's plan to take them down over the long term. Stage one of the KGB's plan is demoralization. What it basically means is to change the perception of reality of every American to such an extent that despite of the abundance of information, no one is able to come to sensible conclusions in the interests of defending themselves, their families, their community, and their country. It's a great brainwashing uh, process which goes very slow and it's divided in, in four basic stages. Uh, the first one being demoralization. It takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation. Why that many years? Because this is the minimum number of years which requires to uh, educate one generation of students in the country of, of, of your enemy exposed to the ideology of the enemy. In other words, Marxism-Leninism ideology is being pumped into the soft heads of, of, of at least three generations of American students without being challenged or counterbalanced by the basic values of Americanism. From OriginalRebel.net, around 1965, the KGB sought to undermine America's elementary schools. By now, three generations of teachers and students have been indoctrinated with subversive socialist ideologies. This subversion went unchallenged by an increasing number of schools and teachers, which steadily sabotaged, and now vilifies, traditional American values. As these students progressed to universities, they were not only unaware of the lies they'd been told, they were primed and receptive to higher level indoctrination of hatred for freedom, democracy, individual rights, limited constitutional government, free enterprise, etc. And once they graduated, they became the next generation of leaders in all segments of society. This ongoing process destabilized our society as these communist values clashed with those who still believed in the constitution and its principles. So as much as we might seem demoralized now, this has been the case for a long time ever since the 60s. Imagine being an American citizen back then. You go to university and you hear about the evils of America in all your classes. Then you watch the news and see the evils of Americans in Vietnam. Once a whole generation sees this day in and day out, demoralization is complete. Following that, stage two is destabilization. This time, subverter does not care about your ideas and the patterns of your consumption. Whether you eat junk food and get fat and flabby, it doesn't matter anymore. This time, and it takes only from two to five years to destabilize a nation, uh, it's, what, what matters is essentials. Economy, foreign relations, defense systems. You take a population of people who have been demoralized, stripped of their hope and their patriotism for their country, and you isolate them. You create a kind of echo chamber of despair and cynicism. This is done through many avenues. The destabilization process was accelerated by also attacking religion, primarily Judaism and Christianity, and turning people's attention to personal, short-term gratification and human degradation of innumerable forms, largely through destroying the family, while the virtues of thrift, goal-setting, diligence, savings, and sobriety were gradually forgotten. Further destabilization came by replacing the teaching of important core science with an overarching emphasis on humanities. America, which once was the undisputed world leader in science and technology, now is witness to the fact that a majority of students in our universities that focus on these disciplines are foreign, primarily from China who then take what they've learned back to their home nations. And in the case of China, ruled by a communist dictatorship, we are literally training, if not subsidizing, the rise of our most lethal adversary, which is now approaching the technical sophistication of all of America's weapon systems. And recent years have yet again rung true for Bezmenov. The next stage, he says, is called crisis. Here's his take on it. Uh, the next stage, of course, is crisis. It, it, it may take only up to six weeks to, to bring a country to the verge of crisis. You can see it in, in Central America now. Now, he says a crisis can take as little as six weeks, but the buildup is long. We've been seeing this buildup for 20 years or more. Another key facet of the KGB's subversion efforts was in creating a permanent crisis mode with a full-scale attack on free markets and legitimate historical and constitutional organizations. 
big government promises of free goods would be used to encourage voters who'd been primed for such offers via our schools to seek a strong leader or even benevolent national ruler to fulfill these unfulfillable promises. If Bezmenov were still alive, he would undoubtedly say that the United States has now entered into this civil war stage, as violent anarchists, communists, cancel militants, and other opportunists, including Islamists, use force to provoke attacks against statues, history, and the police in nearly 20 American cities, most of which have been governed at all levels by far-left useful idiots for decades. More on the useful idiots in part 3. And so we see that the society of today is the crux, the tipping point. More Americans than in a very long time are talking about civil war. What may result from this? After the resulting civil war, if the conservative forces who advocate for constitutional rule of law were to lose, a new normalization process would take over, as people get used to far fewer rights, but the illusion of less economic dislocation under the rule of a benevolent communist socialist dictator who, judging from history, will not remain benevolent for very long. Ever seen that clip from the New World or World Economic Forum? So, Mr. Bezmenov's predictions have all come true so far. We've been demoralized, destabilized, and are on the precipice of crisis, with civil war cries and riots happening daily. And the Marxist and communist leaders of the world are salivating at the opportunity to come in and help us. This is where the fun begins. To the people who have been supporting this in all the grassroots areas of life, do you know what might happen? Have you read Animal Farm, 1984, or Brave New World? Do you understand that when the boot comes down, you'll be stomped out with the rest of us? Now that you understand the KGB's plan from so many years ago, you have to understand the supporting ideology, progressivism which I'll cover in part two.